So Kelvin mentioned the core problem of Parkinson's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases as being a problem with misfolded proteins. So in the case of Parkinson's disease it's alpha synuclein. It's a normal protein that misfolds and becomes incorporated in the Lewy bodies, the hallmark of brain pathologies of Parkinson's disease. And often when I talk to the public they they don't quite get what a misfolded protein is, which I think I can understand. So let me illustrate it. This is two pieces of paper, and uh, I equate this to a protein, like a uh, like uh, insulin, a signaling molecule that engages a receptor, conveys messages into the cell, and then glucose is taken up, right? So all of the action figures in the brain are proteins. They're encoded by genes, but the, the, the worker bees of the brain are the, are the proteins that do what I just described you know, for insulin. So conveying information is a critical part of what proteins do. Uh, and if those proteins become misfolded, like I just crumpled up this paper, I can't read the agenda anymore, so it's lost its function. It can't convey to me the rest of the day's agenda. So this, this protein has become misfolded the way alpha-synuclein misfolds and loses its function. And if I were to do this iteratively over a 10-year period, which is perhaps the period of time over which people begin to deposit Lewy bodies and then become symptomatic, you could imagine I could fill this whole building with crumpled paper, become a fire hazard, and choke off the work in our laboratory, which is part of what we think Lewy bodies do inside of cells. The concept of cell-to-cell -cell spread can be demonstrated in a similar way. So when the uh, alpha synuclein protein escapes from a dying cell or in some other way, it can float through the brain, enter another cell, and encounter the normal alpha synuclein, and that becomes templated, corrupted, becomes the rogue protein makes its normal counterpart a rogue protein, and this is the iterative or uh, repetitive uh, process that Kelvin described. And the way we think of the antibodies as being effective is not having to get inside cells that have the Lewy bodies, but to snag this rogue protein as it travels from a sick cell to a normal cell. And so the antibody does this, grabs onto it, and can take it into a, a literal trash compactor, a macrophage, uh, or in some other way, eliminate it.